this is Sylvester Domasa and this is Diplomatic Adventure, Daily News Digital. I invite you now to join with me as we discuss uh, bilateral relations with the Ambassador of Turkey in Tanzania, Dr. Mehmet. Uh, we'll be discussing issues ranging from tourism, economic relations, agriculture, uh, and education. Along the line, we want to nail down to issues that Tanzania and Turkish have been working together to strengthen the relationship between these two countries. Turkey has the best performing international airport in Europe, uh, registering a large number of tourists, arrivals. You know, we want to learn what Turkey has been doing to go through all those kind of uh, achievements. Mr. Ambassador, please welcome. In fact, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me uh, for Daily News Digital Diplomatic uh, Missions and how to understand diplomatic missions. Uh, I spent in, in Tanzania uh, my last year. For one year, I'm in Tanzania. Yes, of course, there was some challenging approach because of the COVID, because of the, some difficulties all over the globe. But more than challenging, I define my last one year, it was really enjoyed. At the same time, it was an important year for Tanzania because, you know, we lost the, the, the last president, late Magufuli, rest in peace. And after March, the country entered a change period. The president changed, the, there was big change in cabinet, the speaker changed, and of course, some policies changed. Of course, as a diplomatic mission, we are observing, we are trying to increase our relation in different fields, in political fields, in commercial fields, in cultural areas, in different areas, we are trying to increase our relation. If you look at our relation between Tanzania and Turkey, I really define it as Uturuki ni Rafiki wa Tanzania. Uh, and the, the commercial relation in last year, it was the highest in the history. Between Turkey and Tanzania, we passed $300 million dollars. Uh, trade volume, export and import altogether. Yes, that's why it is increasing. And for the number of the Tanzanian people who went to Turkey, it was again one of the records. More than 6,000 Tanzanian people directly went to Turkey. That's why it was also the, one of the highest numbers uh, from Tanzania to Turkey. I know that because of the corona, the uh, commerce and the, the flights between China, between India and Tanzania is sometimes went go up and down. But Turkey, last it was always open. That's why, especially in business area, Turkey become a very important destination. Of course, Turkish economy, Turkish production is important factor for this. In textile, in construction materials, in spare parts, in, in some specific areas, Turkey is really doing good. And uh, the Turkish quality is also really, uh, if you compare with the prices, it's very cost effective. In Turkey, our Turkish economy is very much linked with Europe. Roughly 50% of the, our export and 50% of the, our import is to Europe or from Europe. That's why our quality must be really good enough to sell to EU. That's why our quality is good and prices are also good. So for Tanzania, it is now an important destination to buy, uh, to import goods from Turkey. I'm not only looking for, uh, I don't, sometimes I don't feel uh, we have very good relation with the Tanzanian ambassador to Turkey, Mr. General Yakup Mohammed. Sometimes I also feel that Mimi, uh, not only Balozi wa Uturiki nishin Tanzania, sometimes I feel that Mimi Balozi wa Tanzania nishin Uturiki. Uh, I also, I mean, try to increase the investment from Turkey to Tanzania in different fields. To, to tell the truth, from Turkey, we don't know how much Tanzania is valuable, how much resources Tanzania has. I am also in Turkey. I mean, uh, I'm also asking the, the, some of the leaders, some of the vizies, some of the important people, Tanzania needs rebranding. I really appreciate what the, the, the race Mama Samia is doing because 
in these days she's also in US for one of the branding activities. It's Royal Two. Is an I believe that this is an important branding activity. How to attract as a, a tourist destination for US for global. This is branding. Yes. This is differentiating your country or your product, whatever you have, from others. Uh, that's why I'm saying that only not only defining Tanzania as an African country, Tanzania is Tanzania. Of course, with the population climbing up. I mean, yeah, population is climbing up, but it has very nice touristic activities. Zanzibar, you have Zanzibar, you have Kilimanjaro, you have lots of uh, national parks. Not only Serengeti, I mean, all of them. I mean, Serengeti, Nikorongoro, Serengeti, I mean, Manyara, all of them. It's a special sites. I mean, even Sadani. Let me bring you back to uh, uh, to this kind of surveys that keep happening. You know, I think for the past three or four, five, four years, uh, the Turkish uh, airport it has been, you know, uh, voted as. Uh, yes, and when, when it finish, it will be the biggest airport in the world. Although the corona really affected our new Istanbul airport, because, the, the, you know, in the, globally the, the flights decreased, even in some time it is nearly stopped all but over the world. It is still registered, the yes. largest number yes. of tourist arrivals. Yes, and it is, it is increasing again. Now, the, the, all over the world, the flights start again, the tourism activities start again. Uh, that's why tourism is an important thing. Tourism gets closer uh, the nations, the, the, the countries. Do you think there is something that uh, Tanzania and maybe African countries can learn from? You know, practice that Turkey has been making? Uh, of course, because tourism is very important for us also. I mean, close to 50 million tourists per year coming to Turkey from Europe, from US, from Russia, from UK, from all over the world. Because Istanbul is a very important hub, like Dar es Salaam. And by the way, it's a very important tourism destination. With the historical uh, sites, with the business, with the shopping, uh, with the cultural activities, with the tour Congress tourism, with the medical tourism, Istanbul is a very important uh, hub for tourism. But also for sea sites, uh, Antalya is very important. After Istanbul, Antalya is the second city for in tourists. Uh, there are more than, if just in Antalya, more than 100 five-star hotels. That's why uh, Turkey is really doing good. And as I said, close to 50 million tourists per year Turkey is hosting. It is. I know that Tanzania for 2025 has a target of 5 million. Uh, but for this, you need facility, you need the human power, uh, you need to use your facilities, your areas, like uh, national parks, like seaside, like Kilimanjaro, and those other activities. Do you think having these sites and having people to man these sites, and of course now we have the ATCL, Air Tanzania, uh, it's the national flag career. Uh, do you think still we need some kind of connections? Of course, I mean, make this happen. Of course, I mean, for these 50 million people, for example, in Turkey, mm. they are not all by Turkish Airlines. I mean, your flag carrying air uh, company is important, but your relation is with other countries, your relation with other in agencies, it's very important. And moreover, tourist, tourist agencies, or you are talking about tourist agencies and those relations with the countries. The countries. As much as, for example, you increase the visa it increases the number of the people who come to your country. As much as you increase your facilities, not only five-star hotels, of course, five-star hotels for luxury tourism, but in all level of the hotels, facilities. Yes. As much as you increase, I mean, in foreign investment, for, the, for example, cuisines from different uh, countries. Okay. By the way, Turkish cuisine is very, I mean, famous in the world. Do you think we have also promoted this much? Uh, yeah, I, think it, I think the, the, the uh, Mama Same started also for this one. He has started. Yes, I mean, in, in this royal tour, it is not only for, for national parks. They went to Zanzibar. By the way, yes. we are also waiting in 28th uh, April when it will, I mean, we be, it will be announced in Dar es Salaam. I'm also very curious how is the movie. Uh, but, but it needs to be branding in different areas. 
in by different ways in in movie as a movie as a social media activities and it should be continuous by the way still in turkey although we are in a good position we are continuing to promote because it is very competitive we are competing with europe we are competing with different countries uh, with with us with asian i mean there's thailand one of the very important bangkok very important tourism destination uh, there's indonesia bali very important tourism destination that's in the world this tourism is very competitive area you are trying to attract millions of people to your country but i don't look tanzania only as a tourism destination tanzania is very important for mining very important for agriculture for food processing uh, for production for eac and for sadek that's why uh, in turkey we are trying to promote tanzania's this side also if you produce something in tanzania you can sell to eac country to market there's big market you can sell to the sadek country uh, and here there is resources and so we are trying to promote all of them bilaterally about the same bilateral relations uh, we have investors in tanzania the same way we have investors in turkey yes how is your office here, of course trying to coordinate with the Tanzania Investment, Investment Center through so the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, to also bring together these investors from Turkey and from Tanzania to all work together. Uh, time to time we are organizing B2B events. Uh, like two months ago we had an electric and electrical companies from Turkey. 20 companies came to here and 100 came company from Tanzania. We organized the B2B events. They discuss what they need and what they can uh, supply. And we are organizing, if any investor wants to uh, come, uh, we are organizing with the Tanzanian Investment Center. What kind of facilitations can Tanzanian Investment Center can supply for? I know that their uh, one-stop solution, uh, one-station solution is also very good. If you need anything, they can all uh, help you in, in investment center. Uh, but also, in, depending on the uh, scales, we are in touch with the, even in the minister level, uh, with the Miyashimawa Kijaji, with the minister, and also with the deputy minister. Just this week, I visited Tirdo, Tanzanian uh, Industrial Research and Development Organization. And for the next month, uh, after Ramadan, I'm planning to go to Kamatek and also some other research and development organizations. That's why we are trying to catch in different fields, uh, not only in one field, we are trying to catch. Also, uh, we are in touch with the uh, ZIPA, uh, Zanzibar Investment Authority. Uh, and I mean, in different fields, I'm trying to catch how to increase relation. I know, for example, blue economy is very important because yeah, you have a, I mean, big cost, you have a low cost. In Zanzibar, uh, I mean, Unguja, Pemba, Mafia, we have islands. That's why how to use that resource is important. Is there a specific sector that you think, uh, for this one year that you've been here, you think uh, Turkey has done something quite remarkable compared to other sectors? In fact, uh, like Tanzania, mm. Turkey is also an agriculture country. Yeah. Agricultural activities, agricultural manpower, agricultural employment is very important for Turkey also. Okay. That's why uh, I think for Tanzania, agriculture can be a pioneering sector because there are millions of people who are employed in agriculture and you have plenty of uh, lands which is very uh, good lens, for agriculture. Which is very, uh, lens. That's why I think agriculture can be one of the very important area between Turkey and Tanzania. It can be a cooperation area. And also in industrialization, I know that Tanzania is trying to increase industrialization. How to increase the factories, how to increase the technology. Turkey is, I mean, remarkably did very well in industrialization. We have, I mean, thousands of factories in, in lots of industry zones, nearly all over the country. Some of them are thematic zones, some of them are free zones, some of them are just in that city zones. But in every city we have industrial zones. It means that hundreds of factories. Yes, that's why. 
yes, creating jobs and they're producing. That's why Turkey is really, I mean, doing a lot in export, Turkish products. That's why in agriculture and in the uh, industrialization, Turkey can be good relation with Tanzania. In export of agro, agro produce. Yes. Uh, how do you how do you evaluate our our practice here? As in, do you think you are doing enough, maybe in terms of what we produce or what we market or the strategies is the problem? I think Tanzania, especially agro products. Uh, needs a couple of things. In fact, you already said the titles. One of them is increasing the production with using agricultural technology and increasing the educated manpower, not only in traditional way, educated manpower. Second, uh, adding value. Even packaging is adding value. Even cleaning is adding value. Even, I mean, putting in different sizes is adding value. Not only you don't need, I mean, big factories. Sometimes even something small touches can increase the value. And third, Tanzania needs more branding and marketing departments, marketing companies. Because what I see that Tanzania is, for example, for cashew nuts. Tanzania is producing the raw cashew nut, but another country is taking, buying, and then uh, processing, and then rebranding. In the world, if you ask, uh, do you know I mean, which country is the biggest cashew nut producer? Most of the people will not recognize Tanzania. Tanzania. They will recognize some other countries. Which are, are they, perhaps they don't have even farms. Yes. 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 I mean, even then say Thailand or Taiwan or different countries, which, as you said, they don't have even uh, the, the farms. Or in different uh, products. For example, I know that Tanzania is very good in tea production or in maize or in, in fruits. I mean, you have lots of areas, lots of, I mean, uh, I love it, for example, the, the fruits, uh, avocado, I mean, pineapple, uh, the, 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 lots of different kinds of the bananas, mangoes, I mean, uh, shoki shoki, I mean, lots of, lots of really good, uh, but how to use them, how to industrialize them, then how to market them, how to export them. These are the parts of the, the pieces of the chain. There is one. There is one concern here, uh, export, it's, a, it's, it's all about transporting whether by sea or by air. Yes. Turkish airline has so many routes. It is. Uh, do you see there could be established any kind of venture or partnership between Turkish airline with ATC? hundred percent I mean it is sure but uh, in the modern modern world the business is working over demand and supply if there is demand you don't need to go to any another company the, those companies will come to you or if you supply I mean really good quality then you you do real marketing real promotion then of the uh, all over the world people are looking now better quality cheaper price that's why if you can do fulfill, start to fulfill some of the pieces of the chain for the next phases, uh, the companies, the countries will already come to here. But it is how much we will, as the Tanzania, uh, Tanzania will uh, fulfill those chains, I mean, will support in each other. Uh, generally, how do you evaluate the relationship? Uh, I really believe in there's a big potential. There's a big potential of Tanzania. There's a big potential of Tanzania-Turkey relations. Yes. Yes. In political level, Turkey and Tanzania can complement in each other. We are countries of the different regions. That's why we don't have any competitive areas. Okay. Uh, but we can fulfill our needs because Turkey is, can be an important hub for Tanzanian products to go to Europe. Tanzania can be an important hub for Turkish products for EAC and for SADEC. Okay. Number two, for tourism, as you already asked and said, uh, Turkey learned a lot. Turkey did a lot. And okay. Turkey has a big potential for, for tourism activities. That's why if Tanzania can attract those companies to invest in here, 
uh, with the five star hotels to the boutique hotels to the restaurant services tourism activities Tanzania can benefit from it that's why it will be totally win-win I mean fight the fight the solution Fida, fida. <laughs> uh, you can add to the, I mean, Tanzanian literature, fida fida relation. <laughs> and, uh, but of course, we have some barriers. Okay. Uh, it is not a big issue, but uh, I'm trying to uh, express to my counterparts. Mm. Uh, Turkey is trying to tell about these FESA schools. Oh, yes. Uh, this is, as I said, this is not a big issue. Uh, mm. But in, in our discussions, it's coming to the, to the agenda. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, they define themselves as Turkish organizations, Turkish uh, schools. Uh, but they are the people who is not as seen. They are uh, businessmen? No, I mean, uh, they have different agendas. And they are even cheating Tanzania. Uh, yes. Once I tweeted, it was big discussions okay. uh, because they are get they get money as a charity organization from Turkey. Of course, this can. I wanted to ask uh, if you could clarify because I remember the last time we had the visit of uh, President Erdogan. Yes. He he made a comment actually regarding further schools. Yes. And of course, they are like of course trying to bring some kind of uh, issues in terms of the relations between the countries. And I was just, I couldn't get that space to say, eh, what actually is the problem now? What actually is the matter? That group is established as an NGO, as an association in Turkey. Okay. And what I'm told about last 40 years, it is not something very new. And day by day, they increase and they become a global education hub they define it themselves. Okay. But unfortunately, by the time what we realized, their money is not only in education. They interfered to the Turkish ministries. Okay. I mean... Uh, lobbying? They, more than lobbying. I mean, later on we understood that they cheated in the exams. Okay. And they got the questions of the exams. And okay. they gave to their own followers. So they can have high grades? High grades and they, they took the positions in the governments. I mean, moreover, uh, they interpreted in the uh, justice system, justice system. They interfered in the police system. They created fake files. They did blackmails. I mean, normally they define themselves as a religious group, but none of the religious group, even in Islam or even in Christianity, can do this. Because yeah, religions, religions does religions, promote I mean, cheating. Uh, or religions practice. are based on moral values. Sure. I mean, none of the religions says that cheat. This is, I mean, not related with the religion. So it, it is beyond the non-profit. It, it is, is beyond non-profit. Non Even in here, here, I mean, if you compare the prices, prices how much they take as a school fees, is, is it, it a, not is it like, like an NGO or, or charity activity? <laughs> Or, or it is it something, something beyond charity. charity. Yeah. If it is a company that is under the private organization, private schools, yes. they say that I'm private. I'm doing it for profit. Give your school or no, you don't give. Yeah. But they are working under foundations. In the name of in the name of foundations. But they are taking high school fees because their aim is not only education. They have yeah, different things. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I know that. We are trying to look at it, uh, saying, we, I think we need to try and establish a cap price of fees. The, it is not, is some, it's it's not something not about the, the fees. fees. As, As I said, said the, the, the fees minimal, but there are other contributions that you are supposed to. No, I mean, it is not something about education. education. Their the mandate, mandate is not education. education. Even, Even if, if they, they make it free, free let's say that. that Tomorrow they say that, okay, now education will be free. It's not something about education. They have different mandates. Their leader is in the U.S. They tried a coup attempt in Turkey. They killed 251 civilians with the Turkish helicopters, with the F-16 warplanes. They wanted to kill our president. Yes, I remember that. I remember that. I mean, I'm trying to make empathy. What do you feel? 
if a group of Tanzanian people wants to kill Tanzanian president, what do you feel? What do you do? What the Tanzanian government do? It won't be easy. <laughs> I uh, think that there is a Tanzanian school in Turkey yeah. who is supporting this group who wants to kill Tanzanian president. Uh, what do you ask from Turkey? We are in the same position. We are. We, we understand. We understand. And never they accept that they did this. But by the way, even uh, they are working. Uh, they are using psychology techniques. For example, in the court, this is happened. I mean, what I'm not saying a story. This has happened in the court. The judge is asking to the pilot, "Why did you bomb civilians?" He's saying that no, I didn't. There is video record. You are going to the plane. You are going to the helicopter. You are taking it off. You are shooting. There is evidences. Evidences. I mean, because you know, it is plain. You can't type anything. There is radio speaking. You did this. He's saying that it is not me. I mean, they are using brain games. Yeah. Even for the followers, they refuse that that group is not part of it. But there is hundreds of evidences. Thank you for this, and I think our time is running too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, very much. thank you. Very much. Uh, I, I should do, I should thank you personally and uh, on behalf of the Dell News Digital team and everyone that has joined us uh, through this conversation on the diplomatic bench. And I don't know whether you could, you could say this was a bit hot or <laughs> no, it was fine. It was, it was fine because. Uh, there is a saying I like it. One of the uh, former Bosnian leaders, uh, the sweet lies, some people can like, but it doesn't help. But the spicy hot facts can be a medicine. That's why between each other we should discuss the truths. We should tr discuss the facts. Uh, but I'm not only as a diplomatic person, I'm saying, I'm believing in personally, Tanzania has a big potential. The problem is how we will, how Tanzania will mobilize it. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Papa Moja, Kaziyendele.